This is just a toy right now, but it's about to be so much more. We're gonna replace the electronics with a Raspberry oh, Pi. Yeah. And then let the robot be controlled by GPT-4 so it has full AI. It will even have its own AI running on the Raspberry Pi that will enable image recognition and other abilities. Join us in our expedition to create a robot that you might see in Star Wars or maybe could be Johnny Five's child. We gotta do a few things. We need to create a mount for the camera and a mount for the sensor, however we're gonna have, I guess like that or something. The mount is gonna have to connect down in here. Take the wheel off so you can see. That mounting hole and this mounting hole here, this bottom part gets screwed up into that. And so the piece that we create needs to have a small enough hole right here to where these screws screw it all together. There's these over here as well. So let's get to designing. And here's what we got. Got the camera holder right here, the ultrasonic sensor holder right here, and the legs that go down into those holes. So, let's go get this printed. So, the first print was pretty stringy, honestly. It wasn't that good. Wasn't very strong either. A couple of the legs already broke off. And the legs were just too small. They, they like, you know, rattled around in, in the holes they're supposed to go in. So, I made a test print of a slightly larger size, and thankfully it fits perfectly. Got another one printing right now. Well, this isn't working. The legs keep breaking off when I'm taking it off the printer, so I'm gonna come up with a different design, I guess. This should work. I integrated everything directly onto the Raspberry Pi mount right here. So we got the tail, the wheel will be mounted back there for the tail, and then we have the uh, sensor mount and the camera mount right here. Looks pretty good. Let's mount everything up. Let's put the wheels on. So we need to add a little bit of weight to the tail, which I'm gonna put some extra batteries back here. So that'll pretty much solve that. That's pretty cool looking though. That's a nice little robot right there. I got the little wheel mounted on the back. Now all we gotta do is finish wiring it all up. Add a second battery right here to add some weight in the back. And then we gotta program it. Make sure to subscribe if you'd like to keep watching along as we develop this robot.